I thought I'm just a nine year old boy, but my thoughts change after this life changing incident. A few months back, I visited a school near my father's factory in Vichur. The school was about three, three rooms and 100 children. The principal told us that these children are from very poor families. We went there for a round table project. Our project was a moving science lab in which the scientist took some of his parts to do 30 different experiments in the poor school. When the scientists did 30 different experiments, the children were amazed to see these experiments and were very curious. So they asked a lot of questions to the scientist. The scientist could answer a few questions when many questions were not unanswered due to the lack of time. At that time, I felt blessed that God has gave me everything that I need in my life. At the same time, I felt sad of the poor children who did not have the basic amenities. So when I came back home, I shared my feelings with my parents and we all discussed how we could help them. Finally, then, I found an idea where there's a will, there's a way due to the pandemic situations. I developed a new hobby called origami in which I made 50 different paper crafts. And seeing my passion, my mother suggested to make a f me to make a few bookmarks to raise money for a library in a little school. The idea sounded great. It was like killing three birds with a single stone. Number one, I enjoy what I'm doing. Number two, my artwork could encourage young kids to read. Number three, I could raise a lot of money for a library in a little school. Finally, then the work started and I made 300 designs you like cartoons, animals, birds, etc. Then my parents showed my artwork to some of their friends within no time. We got a sponsor. Sponsor. Finally, during my summer holidays, I replicated each design and I made totally 3000 origami bookmarks. Then finally, it was the day I was ready to display my art. I felt excited and a little nervous at how people will respond to my art. The response came overwhelming. Children wanted their favorite cartoon characters and I raised a lot of money for a library in a little school. Fine. I can't even express how happy I was. Now that I was so a library would be made in a school school and some of their questions would be answered also. It was such a satisfying feeling. Who says you need to be an adult to help someone? You can help someone now and today. You have to feel to do it. Thank you.